Hi friends. So as promised, this is an in-depth demo of chat docs AI. So I've added this demo without login and register button. So for this, you don't have to be logged in or registered. You can simply check out the bot. And this is a, a small version of the complete bot that we have. This is connected to the backend as well. So let's select a document to chat and you can take a look at the instruction here. So we just need to click that uh, settings button, pick a document and then start chatting. That's it. So let's select a document to chat and let's select Scarlet 7, save. This is the messages coming from the database. So the chat is persisting in this as well. So let's clear these messages. It will not delete them. It will just clear our space here. So let's say, what is the document about? I like this one because it summarizes what the document is about in very few lines. Okay, so the document is about the narrator's experiences during his time as doctor in army. So that's perfect. So yeah, it's working. So let's talk about mobile responsiveness of this application. So let me just do inspect element. Now it may feel a little small because I had zoomed out a lot. Anyways, so let's click this button. And yeah, this uh, is how it will appear. Okay. I select anything. So let's select this Scarlet 7. Save that. Great. So document of our experiences. Same thing. So can you summarize it and list? So let's hit enter. Yes. So it has neatly listed out all that uh, what's going on in this document. So that's wonderful. Let's close it. And let's move on to this application. So let's click on docs. Okay, so current breakpoint is uh, at 490 and obviously we can change it according to your need. So all the options, the sidebar is actually hidden and now you have menu button. You can click on it and you will have this wonderful sliding animation and you can access the chatbot from here or you can select the document. So when you click it, it will load like this. And if you want to change the document, just click on this drop down menu. So suppose you click on this YouTube button. Obviously, we don't have a document to chat. So let's click on it and select any document. That's like that. Wonderful. It is loaded. So what is the video about? Great. So the video is about all of this. Anyway, so it is working fine. Let's delete the messages. So confirm, delete it. Wonderful. So the settings are working fine as well. Let's click on our profile, natural access, and both of the model cards are working fine. So yeah, obviously I'm currently improving this a lot. If you don't have an account, you can register it from this page, or you can simply log in after you have registered. So I have created an account with code Jana. So let's log in with that. Wonderful. So first of all, let me walk you through. Uh, in this navigation panel that you see here, this is a link to the chatbot we just saw. So it's right here. And uh, this one is for chat documents. And uh, currently we are supporting text, PDF and CSV file. And I'm going to support more documents down the road. This is our chats with YouTube. So as you can see that I have added this document, a YouTube video, but I have not created any embedding words. So let's try to create it and uh, make sure you notice that we don't have an open AI setting. Okay, let me show you. So currently we don't have a setting and we are displaying this message that uh, you can create a setting to enable chats. You can still upload documents. That's why I was able to upload the documents, but the chats won't work. Okay, so in YouTube, if we try to create the embeddings, the document will be loaded, but as you can see, the transcript is not available. We have this message that uh, it popped up. So let's create again. So please add an open air setting to chat. You can click add setting and you will be redirected to this create global setting page from where you can create that setting. So let's create one. Uh, also, let me show you one more thing that suppose if you still don't do that and you try to access the chats, it will immediately tell you that open air setting is not found. So you can add a setting from here as well. It will still redirect you to this global setting page. That's it. And uh, just for showing you how individual setting for each doc works, let me add another one. Okay, let's save that. Okay, so we have two different settings with same API key, but different model temperature and tokens. And uh, let's go back to docs. Since now we have a valid API key. 
So let's click on this short three pages. I already have embeddings for Scarlet 7. So let's uh, click on this. And yeah, to upload a document, you just click that. Select any PDF that you want. Uh, let me add this one. So it will create that. So let's click delete. Okay, so now let's click the short three pages. And yes, in just a second did that. And now the chat is proper. We got a success message. And what is the page about? There, yeah, that's working. The page is about moral stories. Great. So let me walk you through the header. So we have the document name here, document type, and the page count, okay? Then we have the setting button. And this setting button is for setting the current chat setting. So this one, the short three pages. So currently it is using the valid API one. So let's select the valid API double 16. So now this one is activated, yeah, this one. So we have temperature of zero and max tokens of 328. So let's say, So now this will actually create outlines and remember that we have set the hallucination or temperature to zero. So yeah, that's wonderful. So introduction, briefly introduce the story. That's how that's working. Key events, great. Now you can actually take this. It will take that outline that we have actually created from the chat itself. Okay, so it has created that. And uh, yeah, that's wonderful. So it's working. And if I were to select this uh, GPT 3.5 double one with a temperature of 0.75 and max tokens of 181. Let's see what it does. So let me share the same prompt. Because in this one we have max tokens uh, quite less. So yeah, we have a change of setting here. This one is much larger than this one. So yeah, our settings are working fine. Now in this one, this second link is an actual link to global chat setting. You can access that from here as well. So let's select this and this arrow will have delete messages and delete document. So you can click here to actually delete all the messages and you see all the messages will be permanently deleted from your database. So, so that's non recoverable. So let's confirm. And yes, so everything is deleted. And if you want to delete this entire document along with the embeddings, then you can do that from this delete button or you can do it from this delete document as well. So let's select that. It's also going to be permanently deleted. Let's confirm. Great, so that's working fine. Now let's take a look at the YouTube. Click create embeddings. Wonderful, so that's done. And let's add another one. So I had this one as well. Great. If you're not watched pitch meeting that please do so. They are amazing. We are ready to chat. The header is pretty much the same except the document type is YouTube now. And I've replaced the pages with the duration count. Now the settings here are the same. This arrow button is still the same. So now simply let's ask what is the video about. Great. So the video is a humorous pitch meeting for a fictional Top Gun sequel movie. So it even knows it's a sequel. So that's great. So that's working fine. So in similar way that this is a URL, you click on it to create an embedding and you click here to add a new URL. If I were to select this, it will add this get started with bootstrap again. Anyways, you can ask what is the page about? Wonderful. So it's a bootstrap front end toolkit. It's the same. And the header is still pretty much the same. The document type is web URL now. And you can click on this link to visit the URL. So you see, that's loaded. The settings here are still the same. So no worries there. Uh, the audio one. So let's create embeddings for this. Make OpenAI FISPA faster. Great, so it has actually created a transcript. And uh, yeah, you can go through it or you can play it. Whisper from OpenAI is undeniably their biggest contribution to open source AI. Wonderful. And now we can obviously summarize it. So uh, summarize. The document okay so that's a great summarization actually document discusses how open air whisper air model has been modified to run faster on a c translate 2 that's actually wonderful see by using c translate 2 instead of pytorch to run whisper faster whisper transcribe audio to text four times faster i mean it exactly summarized it in just few lines and if you had selected another key so we had selected the max tokens of 181 
let's select this one now and uh, deliver the same prompt wonderful so it is obviously as you can see larger than that so our setting is working fine and it is explaining it more clearly so let's select the settings okay so as you have already seen that this is your settings page where you can create multiple settings match types and uh, you can also edit any setting so we had max tokens here as 181 you can change that you can set the temperature to like uh, one so that it will have more creative control and you can set the max tokens to thousand so it can create longer form articles so let's update that yeah that's working and if we had gone to this one and did the same prompt and yeah let's check our settings so right now yes we had the turbo 16k let's change that so setting activated let's do the same prompt and is definitely much larger than this one which had 300 token count and this one has like a uh, thousand token count but yeah it is definitely working and these settings are working and you can mix and match and now let's take a look at the account page properly so the usernames are not changeable okay they cannot be updated and they have to be unique but you can update your password email first name and last name as you can see i have not changed my first name when i registered because in registration form i'm not keeping first name and last name so that it is a quick registration let's save that and yes use updated that's it it is that quick anyway so you can either join the waitlist for pro because i'm adding more features inside it and uh, yeah this is currently the beta version with all of these limitations if you don't want these limitations then you can get instant access and these are the things you will get with instant access so i've seen some applications actually limit you even with paid plans so this in this 49 dollar it's a single payment lifetime access you will have unlimited things okay you can chat privately with your data secured on your own computer since the database we're using is not in the cloud it's in the app itself so you'll also get free upgrades since i'm working on many features one of them is local generation so you won't even need an open ai key okay with either of these versions you will have three month post purchase support with business plan i'm actually offering six months of post purchase support for any bucks anything you come across that is not working or needs to be fixed all of this is included in the business plan and I'll also integrate open source AI models and any of the vector databases that you are currently using. And as you know that Chroma and Fias is actually free of cost, so no charges there. But Pinecone, Redis and Atlas are paid vector databases. Anyways, I'll also add a long term memory database, which is currently Redis and it works wonderfully. But there are definitely other ways you can store anything in MySQL or Postgres on any database handlers actually and just feed that into the chat history of this application and it will work. So you will have long term memory. Then I'll integrate other Langchain tools, for example, if you want to scrape the web and then get the data and then chat with the data. So yeah, many line chain tools can be combined in this application and that's for a customized solution. So that's the whole walkthrough of this application and I hope you liked it. I'm going back to improving this application further. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.